a reindeer like that, you're, <laughs> nope, you're going down. <laughs> you would be threatened, but the thing is, it has brought nothing but pure joy to you to watch that. <laughs> That's it, it's, just, it's just so much sunshine, kind of like what we got today after our rains. That is true. Yes, we had lots of sunshine out there, Carlo. And we still had a few clouds lingering, but we're going to push those out as we go into the weekend, and we're going to hold on to that sunshine this weekend. But then by next week, that's when we're talking about the chance for shower activity returning to the forecast. Taking a look at our highs for today, we had a lot of 50s and 60s out there. We were at 61 degrees for downtown, 60 degrees today, Escondido, 57 degrees for Valley Center, the same for Ramona, and 30s and 40s across the mountains. We have a current temperature for downtown of 55 degrees, a few passing clouds out there, but we're going to see a lot less of those clouds by tomorrow in the afternoon hours. Also talking about relative humidity at 77%. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see this forecast. Yeah, that sunshine going strong for this weekend. We're going to add in a few high clouds to the scenery. That's going to be on Sunday. It's going to be a chilly start to the morning, so some inland frost cannot be ruled out. And by the afternoon hours, we're going to just be a little bit below seasonal, just by a couple degrees. That's the case uh, for Saturday as well as Sunday. And some more chilly temperatures are in store for next week. Taking a look at your surf forecast, two to four feet for tomorrow, one to three by Sunday. Moderate risk of rip currents at our local beaches. That's going to be the case for tomorrow and a low risk as we hit our Sunday forecast. Taking a look at our in-house model, we're going to be under the influence of a weak ridge of high pressure that will be in between systems. So that's the case at least going into the weekend. That's why everything's going to clear out with the cloud cover, but then we're gearing up for that stronger storm system. This atmospheric river expected to move in. Heavy rainfall two inches west of the mountains cannot be ruled out. Also talking about two to four for the mountains. Even the desert could see an upwards of an inch. And we are talking about a snow level that's going to start off about 7,000 feet, bringing potentially up to two feet of snow above 7,000 feet, but it's going to drop down by Tuesday night to 4,000 feet. So some snow in our local mountains could see about two inches, and that would be the case across Palomar Mountain and also talking about Mount Laguna when all is said and done. Taking a look at that forecast for the, your next eight days. So yeah, basically you have some rain in between. We're going to see that rain by Tuesday, drier conditions by Wednesday, even taking a dip with those temperatures. And then we're going to gradually warm up as we go into next weekend. I went ahead and put the snowflake, and that's going to be on Tuesday with our first official snow of the season.